Welcome to the Forever Cash Life Real Estate Investing Podcast with your hosts, Jack and Michelle Bosch. Together, let's uncover the secrets to building true wealth through real estate and living a purpose-driven life. Welcome to another episode of the podcast, Michelle Bosch. Uh, here coming to you guys. Thank you so much for letting me in uh, to your world, to your space, to your families. And today we are discussing um, the elephant in the room. You know, I wanted to this episode to be a market update for, you know, 2022 and what is to come. What we know for sure is, you know, that interest rates uh, will continue to go up. We know that we are at an 8.6% uh, percent inflation we know that, um, you know, from us being part of several uh, masterminds and groups of real estate investors of the top 1% of, you know, investors in the country, not just in the land space, but also in the single family and the multifamily space, that the market is definitely changing. And when the market changes, you know, there is usually quite a bit of fear. Um, and I think um, it is fearful or it is scary for the people that have not prepared for it or the people that don't know how to invest no matter what's happening in the market. The way we invest, you know, whether the market is going down, whether the market is going up, whether the market is going sideways, we're still making money. And so with that in mind, actually, I want to invite you guys. We have coming up right now on June 22nd, a, an event called, you know, Learn to Crack the Wealth Code with land. And it's really about reinventing the American dream. As many of you guys know, both Jack and myself are immigrants into the U.S. We're now, you know, naturalized U.S. citizens. And I believe that, you know, when we originally came into this country back in, you know, the mid 90s, the American dream was very, very different. It was about a picket fence. It was about having two kids. It was about uh, living in the suburbs. It was it was very different than the American dream that we're living today. I think the American dream that we're living now is all about freedom, about working fewer hours, about act, act, actually living off of, um, you know, asset income or passive income versus just active income. And so this is what this event is about. It's really about showing you guys and, and, and sharing with you our wealth hacks and what we've been doing, you know, since 2002 when we started Flipping Land all through, you know, where we are right now, we've gone through every single uh, part of, you know, the market cycles up, down, plateau, uh, big recession in 2008. And no matter what has been happening in the economy, we've been able to make, uh, you know, uh, land work for us. We've been able to make money with land. We've been able to make money in other asset classes as well. And so we'll be sharing some of our wealth hacks, some of the things that are working right now in the land space, um, and um, so definitely join us. Uh, you can register for free. It's a special meeting live that's going to be happening live about a couple hours. You should block for your calendar uh, and you could go to landwealthco.com and register and we would love to have you. It's at 5 p.m. Pacific uh, next Wednesday, June 22nd. So having said that, you know, I want to go back to the fact that, you know, we are talking about what the market is doing right now and the changes that are happening right now. And with those changes, uh, you know, I want to talk about some fundamentals that don't change that I think are important for us to understand as we go into a completely different economic environment over the second half of 2022. And that is that change requires inevitably that you innovate, uh, number one, uh, and that you actually welcome that change. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's super important, uh, especially as the mom of a, you know, a, a young lady right now that is about to start high school. I want her to always remain curious. I want her to always continue to remain being a student of life and a learner of life. And what these changes in the market mean for us is that we're going to have to learn new things, that we're going to have to acquire new skills, that we're going to have to acquire you know, new capabilities, and that there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think the people that are fearful are fearful because they're fearful of the unknown. But 
You know, when you know that you can be resourceful, when you know that there's a few things that you can count on, especially in the land wholesaling and land uh, flipping world, certain fundamentals that you can count on from people that have done it before, that have gone through prior market changes and still win with land. Um, and, you know, having been winning with land for now almost 20 years, um, that that there's no reason, I think, to fear. Um, if, if anything, I think the reason why uh, people uh, sometimes think they feel fear is because of what really fear is masking is a desire for something new, is a desire to, you know, up level, is a desire to ascend to the top, you know, it's a desire to um, experience more freedom, yeah? And so um, this is something that I wanted to, just openly discuss and, and talk about today in, in this episode. So continuing to talk about change, you know, um, change and pivoting is something that is risky. You know, it's something that is risky by nature and, um, and we have to accept that. And, um, and we need to be okay with the fact that sometimes there are no guarantees that sometimes when change happens and when the market, you know, changes that, you might feel like you're jumping into empty space, kind of like when you, you know, jump out of a perfectly good airplane and jump into nothing and just hope that the parachute will will open. You know, I I don't want you guys to just hope, you know, uh, but know that, yes, that with with innovation, things are going to change. And that with market changes, you're going to have to change and you're going to have to adapt. But at the same time, I, I want you to know that, um, you know, there are certain uh, things that we can do in the land space to really uh, protect ourselves. I don't want to use even the word protect, but really prepare for, um, you know, in, in the coming months. And, and it might possibly be, you know, that we're going to be able to, uh, still continue to purchase land. And it's going to take a little bit for our sellers to really catch up with the fact that, you know, the prices have changed. They're going to still be for a few months in La La Land wanting certain prices when in fact, you know, uh, we could, we can only offer at a certain level and they're going to be still here. And it's going to take them a little bit of time to kind of like catch up with the reality and the fact that, um, you know, they're not going to be able to command the prices that they were commanding before, which is great on the purchasing side, uh, which means that you're going to be able to, to buy land still. And on the sales side, it only means that, yes, maybe you're not going to be commanding huge prices either, but you're still going to be able to sell, you know, this, this way of living, this way of working uh, in the virtuality of work and in the type of freedom that people are looking for, you know, now uh, is not going to change. That is not going away. And, and, and with that just comes that we're going to be able to buy land cheaper, also sell land perhaps a little bit cheaper than we have or less than we have, but we're still going to be able to continue to make, you know, a nice solid profit spread, a nice margin, and and that's not going to change. What is not going to change is the fact that we're going to continue to be able to sell with seller financing. So we're going to be able to continue to grow our passive income, our asset-based income, and and use it to replace, you know, a, a corporate job that we might be wanting to get out of, uh, maybe to pay off debt, maybe to, um, you know, go on trips, maybe to have just that mental peace uh, and financial peace of mind, knowing that you can reliably and consistently, you know, expect, you know, uh, if your monthly payments, you know, and and passive income from land are at $5,000, that you're going to continue to, uh, you know, to expect that, that people are going to continue to see, uh, to make their payments. You know, we, we saw a very minimal percentage of default back in 2008, 2009, 
in our land portfolio. And, um, and even there, you know, creativity, innovation, the ability to pivot, the ability to um, pretty much, you know, reformat or repackage those loans or, you know, uh, bring down perhaps a monthly payment or if anyone falls behind, being able to tag it at the end of their loan, uh, being able to uh, do those kinds of things, you know, is, is still possible to minimize even, you know, the possibility of um, somebody uh, losing their job and and them not being able to make payments for a couple months. That doesn't mean that the note all of a sudden, you know, oh my gosh, is gone, you know? Um, so so I, I just wanted to come out here, you know, say that this is happening. It's the market is changing, but what the market changing means that we need to become creative, that we need to become innovative, that we need to be able to pivot that we, and if you're not in the land space and um, you know, you're in the house flipping world or whatever world that you're in, that you're gonna have to learn new skill sets, new capabilities, and that you should welcome them, that you know, that innovation pivoting, changing is the way that we expand, it's the way that we grow, it's the way that we unlock really um, you know, new potential, hidden potential that was there, hidden potential for your family in terms of, you know, financial levels of abundance as well. That's what this uh, really new economic environment that we're going into is, is really bringing. It's amazing opportunities. And I know that we hear it, you know, uh, often from others that say during, you know, these changing times during these market changes is, is when a lot of people really truly become incredibly wealthy. And I, I couldn't agree more with that. You know, that that's exactly what happened to us. Uh, you know, back in 2008, 2009, we were able to actually start investing and passing some of our profits from our land flips and from our, you know, land notes and start putting it into other asset classes like single family homes here in the you know state of Arizona that uh, we're pretty much going uh, for uh, Phoenix was on sale and, and we were able to buy, you know, 40, $50,000 homes uh, for you know, and, and spend very little money in renovations and, and so on and, and still put them out there, you know, for rent because people still need need a place to live. Yeah. And so so there's going to be opportunities is what I'm, I'm trying to say. And that your cash machine, your land cash machine will continue to work. It continued to work for us. Um, you know, during during that period of recession and into the recovery all the way, you know, uh, to 2010, I would say there was still a recovery. And then 2011, we saw an incredible pickup again. And it's been picked and it's been going up ever since, ever since, ever since. And of course, right now during the pandemic, you know, the market of a lifetime like we have never seen before in the land space, you know, uh, happened and occurred. And, um, and and so right now it's 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 a time to um, not necessarily, if you are, you know, stuck in a corporate job, uh, is not necessarily the time to keep doing only what's familiar. And, you know, maybe that's punching the clock from nine to five every single day, but, but start looking into new opportunities, new things, um, new uh, new ventures, and, 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 and really looking to, to pivot and starting to look for other ways to create, you know, streams of income, whether those be active income or passive income, we happen to have the opportunity in the land world to, with one asset class, really take care of active income and passive income, you know, at once by, you know, using seller financing and creating and building a, a volume of notes uh, and monthly payments that come in, at, you know, every month, like mailbox money is like what I like to call it. Um, and, and, and that, and that you shouldn't be saying what's familiar. If if for you houses have been familiar, maybe it's time to start looking at land. Uh, maybe if you know, like I said, if a job is all you've had right now, maybe it's time to start looking into real estate. Uh, because when we only do what's familiar, we don't grow. Yeah, your current freedom or your lack thereof of freedom really um, comes from you not being open to change, you not being open in, you know, open to learning something new. And um, I, I always want like to say that, you know, 
the level of abundance that we're experiencing right now or the level of freedom that we're experiencing right now is a clear representation and it's completely correlated to the knowledge that we have acquired and applied in the past. Because how many of us have actually acquired knowledge but not actually applied it, yeah? So number one would be applying what you already know, yeah? But number two, it'll be, you know, learning new things. The, the future, a bigger future and a bigger and a better future for you and your family really comes from the things that you're going to learn right now in the present. Yeah. Another reason to join us on June 22nd, you know, at the landwealthco.com, um, you know, live special meeting that we're having. Um, and, um, and, and so, so yeah, so that I, I hope that you're getting the gist of what I'm trying to say here is that fear again masks a desire to to do new things to to really take and capitalize op- on opportunities to take you know crazy what others would consider shitty situations because the chain the market is changing and capitalize on those changes and turn those into actual opportunities um you know whenever we are afraid i always know that um, if I'm afraid, it's because I'm about to experience a new creative potential and a new level of freedom. So if, you know, if what you're hearing on the news right now, which you shouldn't actually be turning on anyways, the TV for news um, or for Netflix, for that matter, you should just read about it, you know, versus cluttering your mind in the mornings with negativity. But that's, <laughs> I think, the topic for a different episode. You know, we we need to understand that, you know, wherever we have that little bit of hesitation and trepidation and and fearfulness of the unknown of what's coming ahead, it's because creative potential lies right there. A new level of freedom lies in in that fear. And um, and it's it should be welcome. It should be embraced just as the good times, because. Uh, that means uh, amazing opportunities are ahead for all of us. Yeah. So um, I also wanted to say that if you're watching, if you're listening to this right now, that you're listening to it for a reason, that you are built for this, that you are designed for it. We're all built and designed for change. Um, and I think um, it's indoctrination of of us wanting, and, and there's nothing wrong with routine and, and there's nothing wrong with certain things not changing. You know, there's, there's some things that should, you know, be stabilizers in our lives, but just as we welcome that, those stabilizers that we should welcome accelerators because the new market environment in which we're going in could be the accelerator of wealth that you really unbeknownst to you have been looking for and have been waiting for all along. And it just means that you're going to have to think different, that if you are in an asset class that usually gets pounded during the, you know, the, the market, the conditions that we're going into, that you should, you know, get out of that. If you're in the stock market in crypto, I mean, we've seen lately, uh, you know, so many people whose wealth has been eroded, you know, uh, from being in, in those two asset classes or in those two markets, um, and uh, you need to come in, uh, you know, and, and learn something new from um, asset classes that, you know, fare well in, in a recession and that do incredibly, incredibly well, uh, like LAN uh, has done for us and it can do for you. So um, if you postpone change, if you postpone pivoting, if you postpone um, innovating in your life, disrupting your own life, Um, All I want to say is that you're just postponing your next level of growth. You're just postponing your next level of freedom. So um, so don't postpone your experience. Uh, Don't postpone your ability to lead your family. Don't postpone, uh, you know, building a team if you're already flipping land or if you're already in the real estate space. Don't postpone you getting a mentor. Don't postpone expanding your skills. Pivot. Embrace those things. Uh, join us, you know, June 22nd at landwealth.com. And, um, you know, we are in an era right now of uh, incredibly, um, I think, uh, new levels of freedom where people, again, are wanting to reinvent that American dream. And um, and, and, and I know that, um, you know, land could be an asset class that would allow you to um, 
to create that active income that we all need, you know, for bills that get paid every day and that can allow you to build a nice, uh, you know, stack of profits that you can then start utilizing in other asset classes. That land can also be the vehicle that lets you build you know, passive income by you using seller financing and eventually passing those profits, you know, also into other asset classes if you choose to. Um, and um, and just see it, you know, see, see what's ahead as an amazing adventure, as an opportunity, like I said, to really ride the, that lion of, of fear and have the courage to uh, to to write it and 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 rest in the strength, yes, of what you already know, but also in the strength that comes from learning new things um, and the challenge that comes from um, you know being creative, um, coming up with new solutions, you know, uh, to new ways of selling land, new ways of acquiring land, um, and um, and yeah. Uh, with that, I hope that you enjoyed um, today's episode and I look forward to maybe po possibly even seeing you, so, you know, in person and joining us on June 22nd at landwealthcode.com. You can register there for free. It's a two hour special meeting, like I said earlier, where we're going to be uh, discussing all our wealth hacks. Um, you know, uh, as we go into a new economic environment and uh, we tell you basically what's the latest and greatest of what's working, of what will be working in the next six months uh, from now. And um, looking forward to, to having you there and seeing you there. And until the next episode, um, I just want to wish you all the best an amazing uh, summer, uh, pretty much all across the U.S. Now we're in summertime and um, looking forward to hopefully seeing you next week. Um, thank you so much. And thank you uh, for allowing me into your, you know, into your space, into your mind. And I look forward to seeing you on another episode of the podcast. See you then.